hey, I want you to count from one to 10 really, really fast, as fast as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now even faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now louder and faster and count up to 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, forty eight, forty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty. Advanced mode by OpenAI just got released. Let's find out how to get it. First off, the demo we just saw was pretty cool. The fact that the voice was quote unquote running out of breath, even though it's just code is like next level here. And notice the latency was absolutely zero. Earlier today, OpenAI has announced that they are releasing the voice model to a early group of users. Now in this video, we're gonna see how fast we can get access to this, what kind of devices can use this and everything we should know. Right off the bat, this is what it looks like when you get access to it. You need to have the Chad GPT app on your phone. Your next question might be, Corbin, is this only available for iPhones? No, no, no. This is gonna be available for iPhone users and Android users, which is cool. Last time with the ChatGPT desktop app, that was a different story where it was only Mac users. But luckily for us, we're going to be able to access this feature on any type of hardware. Furthermore, what they're saying is supposedly the latest you'll be able to get access to this model is end of fall. Once you get access to it, you're going to have that little marker on your actual application. They will be giving you caps on the amount you can actually use it. So no, no, no. You can't go on too many rants with ChatGPT here. As a side note, that little screen sharing and video mode that we saw in the demo, supposedly that's not available yet. In regards to end of fall, here's the exact dictation. We are planning for all plus users to have access in the fall. Exact timelines depend on the meeting of our high safety and reliability bar. We are also working on rolling out the new video and screen sharing capabilities we demoed separately and we'll keep you posted on that timeline. Oh, Corbin, unsubscribed, clickbait. You know what's funny about that? I can actually see if you were subscribed to me or not and you're never subscribed to me. So who are you unsubscribing to? Earth, emails, social media? Because it's not me. Very interesting. The advanced voice mode here will actually train on your data. During the alpha, we will use audio from conversations with the advanced voice mode to train our models if you have shared your audio with us. So keep that in mind. Don't be talking about everything with that chat GBT. Don't be giving your social security and your bank accounts. There's the update. Once I get access to this, I'm going to do a whole full in-depth video to see the capabilities pushing it. Let's do one last example here. Let's hit it. I want you to tell me a quick story in Japanese, but I want you to sound super excited while you tell it. ある日、小さな高け身が不思議な森に出発しました。木々は空高く飛び立ち、まるで生きているかのように風に支え合いていました。土地全大きな光る石が見つかり、その謎を解くための冒険が始まったのです。森の奥深くに進むと、そこには